Now here in Psalms 26, we get something that is a little different than what we've seen recently. Now this one is still a psalm basically about the temple, about approaching God, working with God in our life. Uh, but this one's more of a procession. If you notice how it is phrased, uh, it's a lot of walking. So procession, this could be a prayer that people would chant on their way to the temple. Helps them get in that mindset of being in the temple. So as we look at this, verse 1, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me, and try my reins and my heart. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes. I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat in vain persons, neither will I go with, go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. So this is, you can see, uh, there's action in this. I have done these things. I am moving in this direction. And that is coming to God. This is, a, this is the kind of psalm you want to think about when you go through a Temple Recommend interview. And this is the one you want to think about of, yes, I have passed the test. I have done what you have asked me to do. Therefore, I am worthy to enter. That's a probably a great overall phrase for this whole chapter here. Uh, verse 6, I will wash mine hands in innocency. So will I compass thine altar, O Lord. Now, I want to pause on this one. Wash my hands in innocency. If I'm innocent, why am I washing my hands? If I'm not guilty, there's nothing to be cleansed from. We talked about repentance in the last chapter. So this is kind of an interesting one to think about. If we are innocent, why are we washing our hands of something? Now this is really fascinating because this isn't, we're not talking about us being innocent in this. This is very important. So a, a phrase to think about, do we need to wash our hands if we are innocent? No. We wash our hands in Christ's innocency. This is how we can come to God through Christ's atonement. So it's his innocency we're washing our hands in. He was innocent. He was the perfect person. He did no wrong, even though he was persecuted and hated and tried and killed. His blood was spilt, not for his own sins, but for our sins. That is the atonement. His innocency, he was the perfect one. He just as could not hold the Savior back. He's the only one that is justified in getting into heaven because he committed no sin. He is innocent of all charges, of all sin. But his innocency, his atonement, what he did for us, is what's amazing. So we wash our hands in his innocency. This is a symbol of us using his atonement in our life. And again, it's not compelled. We don't have to use his atonement. But that means we have to pay for the price of sin ourselves. He is letting us off the hook. He's letting us, not, not off the hook, meaning you can sin, do whatever you want, and not, not be punished for it. But what he, he's saying is, you don't have to pay the full price. You do your best. I will cover the rest. That is his innocency. That is that atonement for us. So verse 7, that I may, this, the reason he's doing this is, is because of verse 7, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell all of thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. So again, temples, the place where God dwells is a temple, his house. Verse 9, gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief and in their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, in the congregations will I bless the Lord. So great faith that David has in God to help him. And we, again, we learn how the importance of the atonement is in our life. To help us to be better. And to work with us, to show us mercy and kindness and love. That's what the atonement's about. So let's... See you in the next chapters. We continue on in Book of Psalms.